Well, here we are, September 30th, the Pro Member Sweepstakes. Just got back from the most amazing trip in Alaska with Renfro's Alaskan Adventures. That name sounds familiar because we always give away a $30,000 fully guided hunt. This last trip I went, went with my boy and my brother was supposed to be there with me and uh, he just couldn't make it happen. So we went, this is a drop camp hunt, so they drop in some of the best moose hunting area you can imagine and it was off the charts. From the minute we got there to the minute we left, we were in a hurricane force winds, 50, 60 mile an hour winds at 80, 90 mile an hour gusts. But four, got my boy Mike, a big giant moose, 63 inch whopper, about a half a mile from camp, made him pass on a handful of other good bulls. And he said he was willing to hold out for something big. Day two, we found him an absolute giant in the fog. Footage is phenomenal. He made a great shot on that. And, you know, it takes six hours for us to process a big giant moose like that from start to finish. I was exhausted, said we're not doing this again tomorrow. We're taking a day off, gonna get a day of rest. And after some coffee and chill a little bit, about 11, 30, 12 o'clock, lo and behold, we start moving around. And Mike says, holy crud pups, there's a good bull. Thinks we're a cow. And I mean, it's September, it's rutting season. The video speaks for itself. Never had anything like that. Ended up shooting this thing at 70 yards. Booked a backup shot at seven yards. Unbelievable. Take a look at this footage, you're gonna love it. I didn't want to have to do that again, but I guess we'll do that. That's maybe 25 yards from our tent. I got it all with my phone too. That's what it's like. Good thing I practiced that long range shooting. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was gonna run us over. I shot him right underneath the chin for that first shot. And then he come running by here. I don't know if he was on this side or that. I think it was this side of the tree. Yeah, he was right there. <laughs> I mean, that might be seven <laughs> yards. <laughs> Browning X Volt McMillan, long range hunter. <laughs> In Crocs. <laughs> Pretty exciting footage right there. That was a great trip, and we were able to cut the trip a little bit short because of that. Troy, we missed you, buddy. Wish you would have been there and I'm sure we'll get back to another great hunt. But today, giving away a hunt with Rancho de Chavez, bison hunt in New Mexico. This is 18,000 acres of private ranch. This is a private herd, phenomenal. And Steve Chavez has you know, basically got one of the nicest ranches I've ever been on. Traditional Mexico or New Mexico type of stuff. A Spanish casita that is a world-class house. He's got a wine room in there, he's got a a Picasso, I mean, just, and he's the most down to earth guy. Him and his wife, Season, are just most wonderful people. I love going down there every year. We go down there in late February, early March, where their coats are really good. Big, giant trophy bison. So this is a $10,500 trip, and we're gonna give that away. We've got some great uh, bonus prizes we're gonna give away. So let me give this thing a big spin again. Just cut fresh tickets getting back from Alaska. I don't always show everybody that we cut tickets because it does take a long time. Takes me about five or six hours to cut tickets. And I do that personally because I don't want anything to go awry with that being the case. So I trust myself to do that and do it right. So I've been doing it since inception. So here we go. Who's gonna go to Renato de Chavez? It is for a winner and a guest. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna wanna have a guest here that's going to appreciate it. Food's phenomenal, cocktail's phenomenal, and the company's great. Gonna go to Shane Adair. Enoch, Utah. Shane Adair, congratulations. You are going to New Mexico last part of February. All right, custom cutting board. We did get commitment uh, from Kyler that he's going to go ahead and do a half a dozen of these for us next year. So I'm stoked we're gonna finish out this year, but each custom cutting board is a piece of art. And that custom cutting board is going to go to Charles Pugsley, New River, Arizona. 
Charles Pugsley, New River, Arizona. Don't know where that is, and I'm sure I butchered that name. So, all right, next bonus prize is going to be a set of Kinetrek Corey Two hikers. You get a certificate, and you get to order them accordingly. And that is to Billy Summers, Springs, Texas. Billy Summers, Springs, Texas. Congratulations. All right, next prize, Browning Range Bag and Accessories. And that's going to go to Chad Vigil, Syracuse, Utah. Chad Vigil, Syracuse, Utah, congratulations. All right, next prize, Camp Chef Explorer, two burner stove is going to go to Dwayne Lundimo, Sydney, Montana. Dwayne Lundimo, Sydney, Montana. We'll get you that Camp Chef Explorer tow. It comes direct from Camp Chef. All right, Alps Pack and Bino Harness. That is gonna go to Adam Justin, San Santon Valley, Arizona. Adam Justin, Santon Valley, Arizona. Hey, a little special shout out to Alps. We, uh, we took the Alps packs, the Commander Plus frame packs on this trip. And I'm gonna tell you what, a moose is going to wear one of these things out. It doesn't matter because, you know, a big hind quarter is going to be 175, 180, and your pack frame is basically eight pounds. We carried those moose and pounded those things to death, and they endured like there's nobody's business, man. Super high-quality product at an affordable price. So really hats off to, to Alps. We know they make great stuff, but when you beat something up that bad, I want to do a special shout-out to those guys because they really built something fantastic. So if you're looking for a frame pack, or you know you're gonna be carrying something really heavy in an external frame is what you're gonna need. Make sure you take a look at that, uh, that Alps Commander Plus pack, man. It's phenomenal. All right, hybrid light kit. Hybrid light kit is gonna go to Raymond Marner, Montgomery, Indiana. Raymond Marner, come Montgomery, Indiana. Congratulations. And last but not least, we will do a Outdoor Edge complete knife set, which we put that thing to, to the test on those moose. And that is going to go to Travis Graber, Lagodi, Indiana. Travis Graber, Lagodi, Indiana. Congratulations to all of our winners for today. I hope you enjoyed that video footage. Uh, we sure enjoyed doing it. If you're looking for a moose hunt, a drop cam moose hunt, those guys are sold out till 25 or even maybe 26 right now. That is the best moose hunt you guys can imagine. I can tell you why if you're interested in doing that personally. It's 10-5 per person. It does require two people to go on that trip. They ran 100% on their drop camp moose hunts this year with over 50 inches as an average. They do not have a size re requirement for that part of the state because the moose are abundant. It is a logistical nightmare getting out there for stuff. But when you get there, you don't have to have 50 inches or four brows or five brows or anything else. And to be able to do that, for some people, that's a ton of money, and you may get to do it one time in your life. You don't want to come back unsuccessful. Some of the drop camp guys killed 70-inch bulls, and uh, I think I hold the trophy for killing the one, one the closest to the camp. So that thing might as well be 80 inches for me. I had a great time. So, hey, thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here in another 10 days.